Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some really quick and easy ways to search fast in Google. So we're probably already all familiar with yeah, just type in the words you want. So I could type in uh, sea turtle, and I'm certainly going to get a bunch of pages about that. And in case you didn't know, if you enclose your words in quotations, you'll get an exact phrase. Because right now, I'm actually going to be looking for pages that have the word sea and the pages that have the word turtle and of course pages that have C and turtle together not necessarily right at the same time so I'm going to get a much wider range of results but if I enclose this in quotes now I'm going to be looking for pages that actually have the word C and turtle right next to each other so a little bit more specific to my topic now what if I wanted to focus my search on a particular site I can do a search for C turtle in quotes here and I can focus on for instance um, discovery.com. So notice I'm doing the word site colon and then discovery.com. There's no spaces in there. So now I'll be limiting my search to only sites that have discovery.com in their domain. So let's get some results. There we go. News.discovery.com, newsanimal.discovery.com, store.discovery.com for the word sea turtle. Now using that same technique you can also exclude words and sites. So let me go back to a generic search here again. And I see that I'm getting uh, you know, a bunch of information. Uh, let's see, sea turtle, oh, item World of Warcraft. So let's see, I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to exclude with a minus sign the word Warcraft. Okay, and that'll make sure I don't get any Warcraft references in any of my results. And let's see, I see my first results as a Wikipedia page. Maybe for some reason I don't want to use Wikipedia resources. So I can do minus exclude site colon Wikipedia Dot org. There we go. So got the minus sign. Exclude a word or exclude a particular website. Now when I look for my results, Wikipedia will not be part of those results. Let's try another scenario. What if I have a couple possibilities for a word? I want to use an OR operator here. So I'm going to do an exact search, but I want to use parentheses. And I'm going to have the word C. I'll use the pipe symbol, which is the shift back uh, shift backslash it's the key right above your enter key there C pipe symbol I'll do green closing parentheses oh, there we go um, turtle so there we go so now I'm gonna actually get results for sea turtle or green turtle now let's say I want to I'm gonna kinda limit some of my results again and let's see I'll go back over to sea turtle but I want to look specifically for frequently asked questions so I'm gonna do a search for sea turtle but in the URL in the web address I want to see FAQ okay so here we go so now I've got sites about sea turtle that actually have FAQ in their web address and we can see it right here sea turtle.org slash FAQ sea turtle.org tracking slash FAQ dot HTML bunch of sea turtle.org sites what else have we got NEFSC in OAA.gov slash FAQ. So that's in the URL. Another uh, search operator word in URL colon and then what you want to specifically look for. What about this one? What if I want to go for in title colon the word care? I want to look for websites about sea turtle that are going to have the word care in the title of the page. How to care, how to take care, sea turtles hatching in care, um, how to care for, pet turtle care. There we go. So these are just some of my uh, favorite search techniques for Google.